Hi there! I figured it was about time to start my own YouTube channel, or I kind of already started it, but I didn't do much with it. Uh, for my cosplay, I am Esme Cosplay, I am 23 years old and I work for The Telegraph, uh, the Dutch newspaper though, The Telegraaf. It's the biggest newspaper of Holland and I'm a social media editor. Very demanding and very busy job, but very exciting. I'm always there when the news comes in and I have a lot of responsibilities, which is awesome. And other than that, I am a cosplayer. My name already said it as my cosplay. I started cosplaying about two and a half years ago. I saw it on Facebook, uh, a new Dutch convention called Tomocon. And I was like, what is that? And I saw the word cosplay and I just dived into it. And I thought, I will probably like that. I'll just try it out. It was a very nice first ex experience. <laughs> It was a very nice first experience and it really made me want to stay there. I already made my first costume then by hand, uh, Lucy Hartfilia from Fairy Tale, which was my favorite anime at that moment. Now it's Gintama, yes. And I went with a group of friends and a girl, um, the sister of my best friend, one of my best friends, uh, she, turned out she was already cosplaying for four years and I didn't know. She was also pretty shy, but very nice. I had a lot of fun. People were very open-minded and they wanted to hug me, they wanted to take pictures with me and I was like, okay, <laughs> I can be so awkward. But still, I was, I was at Konichi, uh, my first German convention uh, the other day, I think about two weeks ago now. And first off, my German is bad, it's really bad. I can kind of understand it, but I can't talk it back at all. So it was very hard to communicate with people there, although a lot of them spoke perfectly English, which was good. But I was very outside my comfort zone. I, uh, I've been uh, picked on a lot when I was younger. And I have this little voice in my head that probably a lot of you have too, which just keeps telling you bad stuff. And yeah, I was, I was actually kind of scared, maybe, of people. Because when I was younger, I was very... Uh, out there, you know, I was very... Okay, you must know I am Dutch, my English is not always that good, I won't be able to find the words right on the spot. I'll have to do a lot of editing probably, but... Through the years I just kind of became more shy. That's basically it. And uh, cosplay really helped me to step out of my shell and get to know people again, um, who they are now. And I finally have uh, the right people around me too. I've been very depressed for a lot of years. Now I only have the, the winter depressions, which is also why I'm starting this YouTube channel because the winter is coming again and it's already dark, it's 8 p.m. and I can already feel it like, oh no, I want to stay inside and I don't want to do anything. I just want to lay under a blanket and watch anime and just forget about everything. But I don't want to do that. I want to stay the happy, positive, go-lucky girl, which I now am. Thanks to cosplay too. So on this channel I want to talk about cosplay. Uh, it's a very big passion of mine. It's not only my hobby, it's also sort of my job. Next to working for The Telegraph. But I also work for Instant Gamer as a freelancer. Uh, as as main cosplay. Instant Gamer was a very big part of my cosplay um, sort of obsession. I've done an internship when, when I was in college there. I graduated last year. So during the internship, I got to craft my very first armor project. And it was of a demon hunter of Diablo 3, which was my favorite game at the time. And when I look back at those videos now, it's <laughs> it's pretty funny because I didn't know anything. I didn't know anything when I started the project. And it just, it was a leap of faith. And I had uh, Bram van Holstein from Clueless Vision help me a lot. And we just started making cosplay content for Instant Gamer and I got to go to these conventions uh, as press and start vlogging there. And I think the quality of the vlogs is steadily increasing now. So I also got a better camera, so that's good. Well, it's not really to my liking yet because I swear to God, my hand shakes like this lately when, like at, Kuni at the German convention I was the other day, Konichi. I swear to God, I can't keep my hands still. That's why I put it on a standard now. But I'm going off track. I will do that a lot, by the way. I keep derailing. 
also in my head, so kind of cool. As you can see, I started this YouTube channel before, I think about a year ago or something. And I haven't been doing that much with it. I've been uploading some convention videos, but mostly in Dutch because I was working for Instagamer. And now I want to do it for a broader audience, so I'll be doing them in English from now on. Although occasionally there might be a Dutch video between. So yeah, if you haven't already closed this window, then please subscribe to my channel. And keep updated for cosplay music videos, tutorials, vlogs, convention reports and a lot of more fun stuff. And I hope to see you soon! I just concluded like, I'll probably like that, I'll, I'm just gonna go. And it was a very nice first uh, experiment. Uh, yeah. It was a very nice first... Ah, I forgot the word! What's a bird in English? Um, Experience. Wow. I was gonna say expression. Anyway.